want to help you with your gift of staying in contact with yourself, and we do that by getting quiet. And that is crucial at this time because if you are not spending some time alone, you, you're self quarantined you may as well get to learn to love you because if you don't love you, oh, guess what? Nobody else will. So this is the point in time where you get quiet, close out everything, go in the room, the bathroom if you have to, and just get some quiet space for yourself. But while you're here with me this morning, sit up straight in your chair, feet flat on the floor, nothing in your hands, nothing in your lap. And we will inhale to the count of five as you see me, honey. Excuse me. Hold it. And exhale. We're going to breathe through the nose this morning. We're always breathing through the nose, okay? So let this be the experience of the day that takes you to higher living, learning, and laughter to make your day great. Because you're in charge of this, not what's going on out there. You don't allow them to program you. You program you. So let us begin the process. Inhale deeply to the count of five. Hold it. And exhale. Close your eyes. You should not be looking at me. You should only be looking at the inside of your eyelids. As we inhale deeply. Once more, inhale deeply. And once more, inhale deeply. And exhale. As we continue to breathe in and breathe out, we give thanks for the power of the breath because it is the breath that keeps us here. And it is the breath that oxygenates the body. And if you have a mask on your face, at some point that mask has to come off so that you can breathe because you're breathing in carbon dioxide. That's what you're breathing out, and it's going out into the mask, and it's coming right back in. And that, my friend, is not good. Don't believe me. Do your own homework. Do your own research as we breathe in and as we breathe out. We give thanks for the power of the breath because it is the breath that will lead us in the right direction of the all-knowing as we commune with the inner spirit, the higher consciousness, that is within us, the creator, the omnipotent presence of love and light and energy that is responsible for this form, this human shell that we experience as a body as we breathe in. And as we breathe out. Now, the mind has a tendency to wander, and that's okay because that's what the mind does, but you are in control of the breath as we breathe in and as we breathe out. Now, as the mind tries to wiggle away and focus on your to-do list, and what's for breakfast and what's all the other things, you simply say out loud, thinking, and send that breath back in. Focusing on the breath right there in the stomach, in the chest, and you breathe out. Because when the mind wanders, it's not focusing on the breath. So we have to keep the focus on the breath. Just thinking about all the glorious molecules and tendons and ligaments and muscles all the cells that you're sending messages to, telling them everything is just glorious as we breathe in. And as we breathe out, we are sending all the signals and vibrations. We are operating on a new frequency this morning because the breath of life is being focused on. And we are telling each and every cell in our body that all really is divine, despite the appearances on the outside. 
That is why we close our eyes and go within and inhale deeply, inhale deeply. And exhale. As we take one more long, deep breath, sending all of that inhale to the top of our head. As it moves down, the breath moves down through the chakras, through the forehead and the face and the chin and the shoulders as we continue to breathe in. Sending love, light, and energy down through the solar plexus, the chest, the sides, the hips, the back, the arms and the elbows. Feel free to wiggle those shoulders and those arms and those wrists. Ooh, feels good, doesn't it? As we inhale deeply. And as we exhale, sending more light, love, and energy down through the legs, the knees. Oh, yes, those glorious knees and the legs and the ankles and the arches and the insteps as we inhale deeply. Feeling the energy continue to flow down through the toes, the balls of the feet. As we are inhaling and exhaling, we give thanks as we breathe in. And as we breathe out, as we breathe in, sending that energy back up through those toes that are wiggling and the arches and the ankles and the heels and the instep and the legs and the knees, bringing that energy back up through the thighs as we inhale deeply. And as we exhale, continue bringing that energy back up through the hips and the sides and the solar plexus, the chest, the neck, and coming up the back of the neck where the vagus nerve is, the vagus nerve is, feel free to massage the back of your neck, releasing some of that tension that's in the body. Yes, as we breathe in. And as we breathe out, continuing the massage, the back of the neck, massaging the shoulders. We can't wait on the stress to release itself. We have to give it some love and some light and some energy as we breathe in. Ah, massaging those shoulders. Yes, oh, it feels so good. Why didn't I do this before? Because we were waiting on Monday morning mindfulness as we breathe in. Ah, feeling those shoulders relaxing, sending that energy back up through the face, the forehead, and back to the top of the head. We are feeling just glorious this morning. As we breathe in, take one more long, last, deep, inhale deeply. And exhale. We give thanks for the power of the breath because someone somewhere cannot breathe on their own and look at you breathing all on your own. What a blessing as we give thanks, as we take one more long, last, deep, inhale deeply. And as we exhale, bring our head forward, chin to chest, and slowly rotate that head to the right. That's why you're sitting up straight. So, excuse me, rotate the head to the left. That's why you're sitting up straight so you don't get a crook in your back and slowly bringing that head back around. Slowly, slow down, you're moving too fast. Slowly bring the head around to the right. Slowly, slowly, slowly bring it around. Look up, inhale deeply. And as we exhale, bring the chin back down. Slowly rotate the head to the right. Slowly, slowly. Slowly bringing the head back around to the back. Slowly, slowly to the left. Slowly, slowly, slowly bringing the head to the right. And looking up, inhale deeply. And look to the left as far as you possibly can, feeling the stretch in the right of the neck. Ah, feel that stretch. Inhale deeply, turning your head back around. And as you exhale, slowly turn your head to the right, feeling the stretch in the left of the neck, and slowly bringing the head back around. Take one more long, deep breath. Inhale deeply. And exhale. And just 
marinate and all that tension release. Ah, oh, it feels so good, doesn't it? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just activated the happiness gene. Yay! You know what that means? You're going to be happy all day. That is, until you allow someone to come in your space and change that happiness. And at that point, that's where you begin the process of breathing in and breathing out. And chances are they will look at you like you've lost your last mind. And what you will do is continue to breathe in with a smile on your face and breathe out. And if you got a little funk on your breath, like onion or garlic, just blow it out your mouth. And I promise you, they'll step away. And that's a tip you can share today. Breathe in and breathe out. And if you didn't brush your teeth today, it's all right, too. <laughs> you can go to Zelda Speaks, my YouTube page, Zelda Speaks. And you can also go to Zelda Speaks Mindfulness. Lots of information there, so be sure and check it out. 